Hi, I'm Pam. Welcome back to Pam Speakeasy. Over the weekend, I purchased a cute little cafe table and chair set from one of our local antique shops because I thought it would be nice to have a place in the front yard where I could sit in either the early morning or in the later evening when it's cooler. The previous owner created a lot of pathways around the front yard with these stone tiles. Some of them are in really good condition. Some of them are actually falling apart. What I'm going to do is I'm going to repurpose the ones that are in good shape and thick enough to withstand having the weight of a table and chairs and a couple of people sitting and create a nice little faux patio space for my table and chair set. Now that the stones are in place, I'm going to take some dirt and fill in the cracks so that there aren't a lot of gaps in between the stones. Then I'll sweep away the excess. If there's something I have an abundance of here, it's dirt. And there we have the final results. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. I doubt HGTV will be calling me anytime soon to do a show, but it was a fun little project. It cost me nothing uh, but my time and using the materials I had around the house. One of the things about tackling projects around the house, especially a home like mine that needs a lot of refurbishment is when you don't have the money to do the really big projects right away, a great thing to do is to work on a bunch of small projects. And not to state the obvious, but reuse items that you have. Um, it's not only great for the environment, obviously, but it's great for your pocketbook. The table and chairs that I bought, as I said, I bought them at a local uh, antique store. And while they're not, quote, vintage, they're definitely not old. But I like the fact that I definitely paid less than I would have paid had I bought them new. And they're in really nice condition. I haven't yet decided if I'm going to keep them in the original faux stone finish or if I'll spray paint them white or black. 
If you have any thoughts on that, please feel free to leave them in the comments. It's something that I'll think about and make a decision on as uh, the summer progresses. Thanks for joining me as I worked on this little project. It took me a couple of hours and part of the reason for that is that I didn't have everything all in one place ready to go and I did a lot of walking back and forth. So obviously have all of your tools and materials right there ready to go. But it was a fun project. I appreciate you coming along for the ride. Thanks for joining me at Pam Speakeasy and I'll see you next time.